Greetings, my lords. Jellord here. I posted earlier today saying that the dual analogs are not supported by armored, the Armored Core games on the PlayStation Network. But I have an update. There is a workaround. I'm going to show you in this video real quick here. All right, we're just going to go in. I already have a game started. I'm going to load up my shit here. And I'm just going to real quick, I'm going to go into the settings and I'm going to show you this, how I have the buttons laid out. And you can just pause the screen and uh, do the exact same setup for yourself here. So we're heading over to system. We're going down to options. We're going down to key assign. All right, this setup right here. Copy this exactly. So pause, pause the video, do the exact same button layout that I'm showing you right here. After you've done this, hit your options button, or basically your start button to go into the rewind mode. Turns out there's some settings in here. You can customize the button assignments. Here, once again, exact same setup as I've got right here. Do it all exactly the same. Assign every single button. Don't worry about the shoulder buttons. Just assign all of these face buttons and the directionals to exactly what I have here. Pause it if you need to. Assign it the exact same way. Now, the only difference is going to be your right analog stick pressing down is going to be to select things and pressing right is going to be to cancel things because that's going to work as your X and, and uh Circle, so you're you're select and cancel. That's it, that's the only weird thing about it is down and right are going to be select and cancel. So we're going to the garage. We're down on the right analog stick to select again. We're going to go into AC test. Down, down, launch. Yep. And now you'll notice with this setup, once you get into a battle, test mode engaged. Your left stick will allow you to move forward and strafe left and right, while your right stick will let you look around. At the same time, you'll be able to use the R2 button to fire, the L2 button to boost and jump, and then you're going to be able to use the R1 to attack with your, we with your laser blade, and then you can hit the L1 to switch to your other weapon. So now I'm pl now I'm playing with both analog sticks, and you can too, if you just uh, go in. Like I said, pause on each of those screens, do the exact same setup I've shown you for both, uh, and and there you have it, guys. You can uh, enjoy Armored Core, Master the Arena, or any of the other games doing this exact same setup here, and that's dual analogs right there. So. I hope this was helpful for anyone. I hope that this makes the purchase worthwhile because until I discovered this, I did not think that uh, it was going to be worth it to buy any of the Armored, game, Armored Core games on PSN. And I was thinking we'd just have to continue to emulate them. But no, this is a totally 100% awesome workaround that uh, will let you play all the games with dual, anal dual analogs. If this was helpful to you, please leave a sub. I'm a little tiny man channel. And leave a little like. Leave a little comment. Uh, you know, tell me about some uh, button shenanigans that you were able to get to work in other games or how pumped you are to play these games now that you know you can do dual analog. In any case, that's going to be Jellord out. Thank you all.